mission of the 81's platoon is to provide close, continuous, immediate, and direct fire support for the battalion and the offense and the defense. Corporal Jacob Zart, I'm with Victor 2-1, 81's platoon, here on uh, Cinco Mini Island. We are supporting 1st English Co. Uh, they are running CADS, and we are the IDF ABC, helping support them call for fire. San Clemente Island uh, Range Complex is a really unique training environment. You have the ability to employ fires in a, in a slightly less restrictive manner. So it allows the JTACs a little bit more flexibility to train and giving them, uh, helping them build their skill set for either exercises or deployment so that they can better uh, employ a range of assets in support of whatever the ground scale maneuver is. Captain Ryan Ratcliffe, I'm the Air Officer and Fires and Effects Coordinator for Task Force Ellis. I'm currently here at San Clemente Island overlooking the shore bombardment area. Unique thing about uh, Anglico is that you have a, a large number of those winged aviators working alongside enlisted and artillery officer uh, joint terminal attack controllers. So you get a really interesting blend of experiences. It provides a unique and, and very beneficial capability that you not, might not find anywhere else in the, uh, in the joint services. One of the unique things about this evolution has been our ability to incorporate emerging technology and work alongside our, um, our partners' services in the, uh, the Navy, including Naval Special Warfare as well as the Carrier Strike Group, to employ uh, handheld Link 16 in support of their composite training and exercise. So this has been an awesome opportunity for us to find ways to uh, incorporate this uh, command and control or common operational picture asset um, that has proven very beneficial in the employment of both kinetic and non-kinetic fires. Seven, seven, nine, or eight. I'll copy over. Soldier, 